when all those who had not managed to get away were either dead or wounded, foot soldiers went through the square bayoneting or shooting anybody who was still alive. They had orders that nobody in the square be spared and children and young girls were slaughtered as mercilessly as the many wounded soldiers from other units there. Anti-personnel uh, carriers and tanks then ran backwards and forwards over the bodies of the slain until they were reduced to pulp after which bulldozers moved in to push the remains into piles which were then incinerated by troops with flamethrowers. Incredibly, despite the horrors and the risks, we have witnessed acts of indescribable bravery on our television screens. A lone man standing in front of a row of tanks, the strength of his will, stalling the might of armour as it rolled down a Beijing street. Young people confronting lines of armed troops, not in anger, but in disbelief that an army could unleash force on its own people with such cruelty. Thousands have been killed and injured, victims of a leadership that seems determined to hang on to the reins of power at any cost, at awful human cost. 